Budget Fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are unstuffing all of these binders. So we will be unstuffing all of the binders and in some of the categories I will be writing down what's in there because I would like to make sure those categories get at least what was in it back to it. But initially I will just be pulling all of the money so we can count all of it as a lump sum and then we can divvy out that money back to what I consider to be the highest priorities. This is just a list of what is in all these binders. Little tip if you are on YouTube like me, I have just a Word document that has all of my categories for the different binders and then when I'm planning my cash up into my videos I can easily just print this one time for the week and write down all of the money and like where it's gonna go and stuff so I'm just mentioning this because if you see it over to the side that is what this is for because there are some categories that I will be pulling the money from but that money I absolutely will want to go back so you will kind of see me just writing some notes just mentioning that in case you see it and you're like what in the world is that okay sweet tea break already so we are unstuffing and reprioritizing all of these binders because I am not moving to Nashville Tennessee thank you thank you thank you for all of the sweet comments on my I'm not moving slash I'm sorry video that I just posted if you missed it you might want to go back and just catch up on why I'm not moving because that is something I've talked about a lot on my channel so if you haven't watched that and you are confused of why I'm not moving all of a sudden, that video will clear up some answers. I did expect the majority of you to be kind because you always are, so thank you for that. But I did expect more negative feedback than what I got. I got maybe one or two comments that was a little bit of a pushback that wasn't even really that mean though. So I am so surprised that some of you did not come after me. Oh, thank you for the kindness and the understanding on that. With all of that being said, let's go ahead and start taking out some of this money and also chatting about what this money is now going towards or why I'm needing to pull some money. First, let's start with bills because most of this will be left alone. I am though going to be taking the, not preschool, school. I'm gonna be taking this out just for this month. Next month I will put it back but this is typically money that I'm saving to go towards a mother's helper to help me with my homeschool son. However, just because of the school schedule, I will not be needing my mother's helper for the rest of the month. And because I'm in such a transition right now, I do just want to go ahead and suspend temporarily this category until next month. And when I need it next month, I will start stuffing it again. But for now, we're just getting rid of that. And then, of course, the majority of this is bills that are still happening here. I just don't have to prep for bills for the move. So we will take out the Nashville category. How sad. I'm sorry, Nashville. Okay, so bills is the main thing that is going to be left alone. So we went ahead and did that. And the other thing that is going to largely get left alone, so groceries I did already spend for the week. So gas I haven't spent yet for the week just because I stopped stalked, stocked, can't talk. I stocked up on gas at the end of last week and then I've been trying to drive as minimally as possible as prices skyrocket. So gas, I really don't need any gas and I just left the $40 there because when I do need gas, it's gonna be a lot. Fast food, I did spend that money for this week. Self-care, Etsy, I'm leaving those categories alone. We might add some money to haircuts for my boys to get haircuts pretty soon, but I will leave self-care and Etsy money alone. Okay, so after variable spending, we are gonna move on to the sinking funds, which is where the money is all gonna come out. So moving, of course, we don't need that category anymore. Winter vacation, we did just go on that winter vacation to visit Nashville so my boys could see the area. They did really love the area in Nashville, and I'm not gonna say that Nashville's not still the spot eventually, possibly, but with the idea of my parents moving too and my brother and sister-in-law moving too, uh, we, I wouldn't necessarily need to be close to Gulfport, Mississippi, which was my reasoning for Nashville because they could be coming too. So it is all a little bit up in the air as far as where the move happens. We'll see, right? New car, I am pulling this money, but only because I would like to consolidate it into the 100 envelope savings challenge, which is also towards a new car. So let's count what we have in this category because I wanna make sure most of that money goes back to new car. So 50, 150, 250, 70, 90, 310, 330, 350, 360, 370, what, 870? 
870 to new car. New phone, new phone has 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300. So we have 300 in new phone. That is a category that will stay, so we will leave that there. Christmas, let's just go ahead and pull that. I do have that on the tracker, so we will come back to that. Picture day, okay, so maybe I won't be writing it all down, but I am just trying to keep a general account for myself because some of these are still priorities. Car maintenance, I don't think car maintenance is actually gonna stay a category. Let's go ahead and pull that out. My reasoning being is that for oil changes and smaller needs, I will just pay out of pocket for that, like with money for that week. But if there's any big car maintenance needs, which I've had a lot of issues with my car, if I have any of those big needs come up again, ideally I'm putting all of that kind of money into this 100 envelope savings challenge and I will have a down payment or enough to get a, a new, new, new to me car, right? So 100 envelope savings challenge, we will also pull this money, but I'm gonna count it to make sure it gets put back in here. Uh, so we have 200 in the bank for that one. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 250, 300, 450, 450, 470, 480, 490, 95, 500, why can't I count today? 505, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 525, if I counted that right, honestly, I don't know. Okay, so yearly memberships, we are actually gonna take this out and let me tell you, can I get it open? Okay, the reason I'm taking out yearly memberships is because here, local to me, I really already am set with a lot of passes. They stagger start throughout the year as far as when we need them and things are relatively cheap here. I will be getting a water park pass for the boys this summer. That is kind of our only need as far as like passes go but I will be paying for that very soon while it's still a cheap price because the closer we get to summer, the more expensive it's going to get. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60. So that's more than I'm gonna need for that. So I don't think I've really said too, I am restuffing the categories, but some of this money needs to get pulled. One for the water park pass. Okay, so wait, before we get into why I'm pulling money and where some money's gonna go towards, we might as well go ahead and continue to pull these. So back to school has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 125, 26, 27, 127. Happy birthday, that is for my boys' birthdays. I may be pulling some of the Christmas money to put towards birthdays because this is coming up much sooner. So 100, 20, 40, 60, 75. Sports, sports is another one that I will be, let's just do away with sports for now because my boys are pretty set as far as baseball goes. And I think they're already kind of tired of the, of the team sport idea. We will see, my oldest is talking about soccer, but I just, I don't know that I need to be saving at this point for sports that are coming up because baseball's already wearing them out because they're in gymnastics. They're, I take them to swim and then we just do a lot as a family. So I think adding team sports has been a, a lot. <laughs> So I don't know that I need to keep saving for in the future, but I have made some purchases with that sports money. Curriculum, we will also be basically defunding right now, so I don't even need to count that. We will talk about why. Field trip, we will be adding money back into field trip, but I'm not worried about how much yet. And allowance, we'll leave this one alone. It is a ton of ones, but I need those ones to pay my sons their allowance. So for now, I am gonna combine my two savings challenges, binders, and I have some new savings challenges that are launching. I don't wanna make any hardcore like set dates, <laughs> but I should be having some savings challenges launch very, very soon. Keep an eye out for those. I will of course keep you guys updated here on YouTube, but some of those challenges that I have are things that I need and will be adding to my binders. So when that happens, I will go back to having two binders for my savings challenges and sinking funds. But for now, we only need the one binder for the remaining categories. So let's count this money and see what we have. Okay, so as far as what is money in the bank, I have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 
I have $2,100 in the bank towards savings, and then let's count the cash that we have here with us. So while I separate out this money, let's talk about why I am taking some of the money out and reshuffling. Of course, I'm reshuffling number one because I'm not moving now, so some categories are irrelevant. Second, I am taking out the sports category because the money that was in there anyway, I do need to put towards my boys' pants and uniforms and stuff that I just ordered. So there have been some baseball expenses that I just haven't taken the cash out yet, so I need to take out that money. I also am basically in like hunker down mode as far as what's going on in the world. Something that I've wanted for a long time is a chest freezer and I just haven't gotten it because I keep thinking well I'm gonna move and I don't want to move that with me but y'all I'm a little bit of a prepper I'm going to admit even before anything started happening crazy in the world these last few years I was always somebody who had a stockpile of food and had freeze-dried food and is just sort of in that mindset of like preparing well, I, I want a chest freezer. We live in an apartment and our freezer is just very small here. So I can't stockpile meats. I, I can't buy meat in bulk. I also would love to have a stockpile of frozen fruits and veggies because that is what we eat instead of canned fruits and veggies for the most part. Yeah, basically a chest freezer is just very important to me. And now that I'm not moving, I want to spend some of this money going ahead to get that chest freezer and then maybe $500 worth of food to put in it. So that is gonna take a good little chunk of money. I do, like I said, I wanna get the water park pass. So that is gonna take some of that money or all of that money, which I had originally set aside for like memberships and stuff. So that money is being spent on exactly what I was saving it for. It's just that I'm ready to spend the money so I can go ahead and take it out of the binders. And the other big thing is I have spent a bit of money, including some of this placeholder money. I've spent a lot on curriculum as I've gotten a lot more focused on homeschooling as I'm prepping to homeschool both boys and I did make some more purchases for my oldest son for this year in his homeschooling journey. I don't regret any of those purchases, but I did definitely go over the amount that I had in the curriculum envelope, and I dove again into some of this money. So I'm just kind of at the point where there's some spending that I have done, like for curriculum and for baseball stuff that I've done and I need to pay myself back for, and there's also probably $1,000 that I'm about to do for the chest freezer and to stockpile that chest freezer. So let's count this money and see how much we have here in our envelopes and then reprioritize it to where we think it should go. 50, 150, 250, 350, 450, 550, 650, 750, 600, 50, 750, 850, 950, 1000. Well, that's an easy, like even number. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. So that's 2,000. Wow, that's a lot in real cash that I have here. I know that we'll like ignore the placeholders for just a moment. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Well, dang, I need one more dollar. <laughs> We're gonna take from the allowance just because that is amazing for it to be that even. Okay, so we have $2,000. $500. That is an amazing even amount. So bills, we're not going to be adding anything to this binder. We do only have three binders now at this point. We have our sinking funds and savings challenges. We have our bills, which is the black binder. This is our variable spending and our, you know, self-care and stuff. I think we left these alone. Let's go ahead and just 
while we're at it, take some of this money and add it to haircuts, 5, 10, 15. We did just add $15, so we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Our haircuts is now even and ready. My boys do need haircuts soon, so I wanted to go ahead and take care of that. So basically, our bills binder and our variable spending are 1,000% on track with where they need to be, and they are set up. So let's go back to our sinking funds and see what we can do with this money. Okay, so new phone, we wrote down that there was $300 in new phone. I do want to put that money back, one, D, 300. So we will put that money back into new phone. Christmas, we are not gonna stuff that money back into Christmas at this point. We may come back to it, but let's see. So Christmas, we may be restarting. Picture day, I don't know exactly what I had in picture day, but we are going to put $100 back into picture day because I would like to do a mini session with the boys soon for pictures. AAA, I am not that worried about. AAA is like $120 for the biggest plan, so that is something we can come back to. 100 envelope savings challenge. We had a cars ca a car category as well as the 100 envelope savings challenge. I want to consolidate those. We are gonna put some of our money that is in the bank back into this category because we had $870 in the new car envelope and then we also had $525 in the 100 envelope savings challenge. So we are at $1,395. We are actually going to put $15. We're going to put $1,500. That money is sitting in the bank. We are going to put that towards the new car and just kind of round that up between like what was in the other categories. I will come back and color in some of these pretty soon, probably just a few of these higher numbers to reflect the fact that two envelopes were consolidated and we added a little bit. I will do that off screen because that's gonna take a little bit of math and time, but I will come back to that one. Back to school, we had $127 in here. We are going to add back $100 Actually, let's put some money that was in the bank. We are gonna put $100 in back to school. So we're shorting ourselves just a little bit, but we do have some time to come back to that. It's not something we will be doing soon, so I don't need real cash in this category. Happy birthday. We are going to be putting $200. That money is in the bank. We don't need it soon. So again, we can use some placeholder money here. It's not something I need to pull as soon as possible or anything. So we are giving ourselves basically $25 of our money back into happy birthday. And curriculum is getting nothing because I did just spend more than what I actually had in curriculum. Let's see, we have $300 still in the bank. I've been pretty good about not spending that money, so that money is there. We may end up pulling that though towards like the chest freezer and stuff. So let's set that to the side for now. I did not write what was in field trips. We will go ahead, I guess though, and put a couple of 50s back here. That gets us started for field trips for when both of my boys are homeschooling and then allowance. Okay, so we do still have a pile of cash. Some of it may go back into our categories, but let's think for a second on what we do need. I know I want the, ch the chest freezer that I will be ordering soon, and I want a stockpile of food. I'm thinking the combination of all of that is going to be about $1,000. So I was filming a lot, and then my camera cut off. Basically, I need $1,000 for the chest freezer and the food that would go in it. That's $300 that we will pull for my savings account. 400, 500, 600, 700, and 800. That's $800 towards the chest freezer and food. 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. So that's 1,000 towards the chest freezer and food. Then I need about 150 for the water park. So that's gonna be two, four, six, eight, 100, 20, 40, 50, that's 150. And then I need to pay myself $100 back for the boys' baseball pants, socks, that kind of thing. Two, four, six, eight, 100. And curriculum. I spent about $200 very recently on more curriculum and things that I'm using for the boys in the future, as well as additions that I've made to my first grader schooling this year. So to pay myself back, we need 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 
So that is everything basically that needs to go back to the bank. Now let's consolidate those, some of these smaller bills and get some twenties and fifties back so that we're sending like fives, tens, ones, that kinds of thing back to the bank instead of all my twenties and my fifties. And then we can restuff some more into the sinking funds that we have just pulled from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, put that there, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I am a thousand percent sure that there is a more efficient way to do this. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? I hope that you are having a wonderful Friday. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. My sons are very excited that it's Friday and we don't have anything going on. It's been a little bit of, it's been a while. It's been a while since we have had absolutely no obligations. Uh, I'm always somebody that thought for sure I would not be like an over scheduler, but this year we're kind of over scheduling all of the sports and all of the things. And I think next semester we are scaling it down. I am, we're, we're in too many things for sure. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Let's pull a 50 back out. So let's see, we will do 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So we'll bring that back to the bank. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then 20, perfect. We'll put a 50, we'll pull another 50. And then we for sure wanna get rid of some of these ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I guess that is it, so we will take We'll send the 15 ones back and we will take a 20. That is okay. So let's see if we have any 50s left. Yes, we do. So we have 50, 150, 250s left. We want those 50s and not all of these 20s. So let's count out 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. Okay, so I think that's what we want. So all of this money goes back to the bank. So really all of this money is money that has been spent or is about to be spent on a chest freezer and food. We will be pulling these $300 from the savings account that we have. Does any of this make sense? It probably, probably does not. Do we want to get rid of all of our cash and start with placeholders? We might should do that just for like safety reasons. Two, four, six, eight, 100. Two, four, six, eight, 200. Two, four, six, eight, 300. Okay, well that feels good, okay. Okay, so just kidding. The savings account money, the $300 will stay in that savings account and we will be putting the placeholders back in the binder. So we are starting with much less cash just sitting around in the house and all of this is about to be spent. It's going straight to the bank. So let's see where we can put the rest of these placeholders. Okay, so I have the categories left new phone we did fully fund that back to where it was and i feel good about that christmas we might be coming back and restuffing christmas yeah let's do that let's go ahead and stuff christmas with let's see 150 and get us back to where we were with christmas so we're back on track with that we stuffed a hundred dollars in i feel fine with that i really don't feel like we need AAA right now back to school we did take some of that money away. So we only put 100 back and we had 127. So let's go ahead and put 150. That actually puts us a little bit ahead of what we had before. So then with birthday, we have 200. I feel fine with that. Curriculum, I don't see us needing any new curriculum for a while. I will need some stuff at the start of next year, but I don't feel like it's enough to restuff that right now. I don't know. Okay, we will do this. We will put another $100 towards field trip because that is something we can probably use pretty soon because my boys are about to be off on a long break and we may actually use some of that money for that. So Field Trip now has 200 and then I think for the rest of this, we will just focus on our big priority, which is the 100 Envelope Savings Challenge. So we did stuff more into this than we had before. We have 1500 from the bank there. I'm a little bit all over the place. Sorry guys. So I will actually go ahead and pull this 200 as well, just to give us a little bit more food money because I'm not sure. So if I spend 500 on the chest freezer, I'm not sure how far like the extra 500 is going to go towards meats and things these days anyway. So I think I will go ahead and pull this $200 from my savings account and put it towards 
more food. So that allots more like $700 towards like building up a little stockpile of food, which I don't know, is the priority that seems to be important to me right now. So for 100 envelope savings challenge or the new car, we have, we have 1500 in the bank, 16, 17, 17, 1800 and $40. So I will go back and change this 100 envelope savings challenge to reflect that amount very soon. This challenge once done equals a little over $5,000. So we're off to a great start with that challenge. I'm excited to see how much of this I get to color in. That is it for this video. I know it was a little scattered and it always feels good to reprioritize. This is just something that I like to do. If you do reprioritize and shuffle around your binders, tell me in the comments how often you do that. Or if you are someone who is like strongly against reshuffling, you can let me know that too and let me know how you stay motivated. Because I do think reshuffling binders, reprioritizing binders, and then making a big expense that comes up that I feel is important, like making those Making those purchases to me is a big motivator because I do have the money here, even though I'm pulling from other categories for that chest freezer, for example, I still had the money, right? I didn't have to put it on credit. It does not stress me out at all to just reshuffle this money and get that thing that I think is a big priority. So anyways, if you made it all the way to the end, as always, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.